Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world. Looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us. In symbolism, and on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is Friday, May 26, 2017, and we've had a lot more symbolism about the biblical end times happening right in front of us. In the Bible, we are trapped under what is known as the burdens of Egypt. Every single person on the earth is trapped under what is known as the burdens of Egypt. The burden of Egypt. The Lord brings us out. It represents everybody is basically stuck underneath the pyramid. And we have to be brought out just as Moses did. Well, these signs are happening all around us. There was another terrible attack in Egypt. 26 Christians were killed by these masked gunmen, an actual attack on Christians in Egypt, just as we show here about the escape from Egypt, the burdens of Egypt. So may God have mercy on all these Christians here. The same thing happened again during Ariana Grande's concert when they went after the woman. The basics of the Bible is right here. This beast out of the sea is coming, and then the beast out of the earth, and then the mark of the beast. The dragon will go after the woman and the children. See there? The dragon went after Ariana Grande just the other night. This was that same symbolism. The dragon going after the woman. We're nearing the time of a great earthquake. This is even the time of your rapture. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness. That's why Ariana Grande got on her airplane and escaped right before the bombs went off and went back to the USA. And then there will be a great earthquake, and the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. That's a worldwide shattering earthquake. So just know these things are coming. The dragon is after the Christians, and the dragon is after the woman. These signs are all around us. It's very basic and easy to want to blame everything on one person instead of realizing it's a many-headed beast and all of them are working against each other and for each other to make it look like they're not all together. The Pope, Russian Orthodox Church, Islam, and it has a big thing to do with Obama who represents Pharaoh and the burdens of Egypt. See Russia and everybody coming? In the Bible we must get past Pharaoh and then we must get past the Red Sea and then we must get past a deceiver, Donald Trump, a false prophet type individual who will promise everything but will lead everybody to destruction. Donald Trump represents that figure. You have your Pharaoh, your Satan, and now will come Donald Trump, known as Aaron and the Golden Calf. See the gold? And that will lead to the great earthquake. See, in the Bible, Aaron made this golden calf, just like Donald Trump, and then they were destroyed. Moses came back with God, and God made a great earthquake and swallowed up half of the people that went with the golden calf. Later on, Aaron was even killed. He died. So you can see all of that. They didn't make it into what's called the promised land. Joshua leads them in, Jesus Christ. So we should have all of those things going on. We've had our Pharaoh, Russia's rising. Here's the woman escaping right here with her jet and a great earthquake. <clears throat> These people are not allowed in this new age. See, this is the new age. See, Donald Trump won't make it either. 
but you can see here this big event is coming see the red army's coming and the lightning and death something's going to happen with Donald Trump and the golden calf and everybody will be mad at him God will get mad at him God will get mad at him God will get mad at the Pope and all of these people coming is it playing out? We've had Pharaoh. Now we have Aaron and the golden calf. Do we have a Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, that is mad at Donald Trump now? Yes, we do. We've had the attack on the Christians, attack on Ariana Grande, and Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, is getting mad at Donald Trump now. Emmanuel Macron swerves Donald Trump to hug Angela Merkel. We have to get around Donald Trump. Do you see the message right there? Here comes Emmanuel and here comes the great shaking as we've talked of before. Emmanuel Macron engaged in a little handshake diplomacy. They had a shake off they literally had a shake-off where Emmanuel beat him. You see Emmanuel? He shook Donald down until Donald almost cried and pulled his hand away. It's called the great shaking coming of Ezekiel 38 from the Lord. And it shall come to pass at the same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel, saith the Lord God, that my fury shall come upon my face. For in my jealousy and the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. And all men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence. See the symbolism right in front of us? This is the symbolism of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, getting ready to take down Aaron and the golden calf because they are not allowed to go into the promised land. It's the same thing as in scripture. Neither one of these are allowed in the promised land. Joshua, Jesus, brings them in. But that is the scenario that's going on. Pharaoh, Red Sea, Aaron and the Golden Calf. This is the New Age. So just know that. This guy is considered to be a deceiver. He, he's no better than Obama was. He's just meant to push things along. He's not going to save you. He's bringing ultimate destruction. So there you go. Emmanuel swerves to go around Donald Trump passing over the destroyer. That's what Donald Trump represents, the destroyer. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. The symbolism is all playing out perfectly. And may God have mercy on all of these Christians that were killed as we try to escape from the burdens of Egypt. Hallelujah.